We all have that one question in each exam that we regret writing. All of us would have spent endless nights thinking about traveling back in time and changing that answer. Unfortunately, we can't time travel or can we? Wait, is there a way to time travel, a way to change that question we attempted in our math exam? Let's see how this is possible. Time travel is made possible by the space phenomena known as wormholes. Wormholes are like a tunnel that connects two far-off places in our universe, shortening the distance between them. Under the correct circumstances, one might hypothetically exploit a wormhole to reduce the trip time from one galaxy to another to hours or minutes rather than many millions of years. Who discovered wormholes? Einstein and Rosen began with the mathematical solution of a black hole, which consists of a singularity, a point of infinite density, and an event horizon. Einstein and Rosen found the simplest possible wormhole solution in 1935, which is why wormholes are sometimes referred to as Einstein-Rosen bridges, a region surrounding that singularity beyond which nothing can escape. They discovered that they could expand this solution to include white holes, which are the opposites of black holes, according to the physics of the universe. The event horizon of a white hole cannot be penetrated, and any material inside the white hole is quickly expelled. These hypothetical white holes likewise contain a singularity, but they function in opposition to black holes. How do wormholes work? Wormholes could link not just two distinct areas of the same universe, but possibly two other universes. Similarly to this, some scientists have hypothesized that time travel would be possible if one mouth of a wormhole were to be moved in a particular way. According to astronomer Eric Davis, traversable wormholes allow travel into the past or the future. It won't be simple though, a Herculean effort would be required to transform a wormhole into a time machine. It will be difficult enough to create a wormhole. However, According to British cosmologist Stephen Hawking, such an application is not feasible. According to NASA's Eric Christian, wormholes are merely shortcuts that make something that far away appeared to be much closer. It's possible that the addition of ordinary matter might be enough to destabilize a wormhole, even as adding exotic matter could stabilize it to the point that human passengers may transit through it without danger. Even if wormholes could be detected, Current technology cannot stabilize or grow them. However, in the hopes that technology may one day be able to use them, scientists are still researching the idea as a means of space travel. Types of wormholes Physicists are mostly interested in the Lorentzian wormhole, general relativity, and the Euclidean wormhole. In a way, Lorentzian wormholes are shortcuts through space and time. They are primarily researched by specialists in Einstein's theory of gravity, and if they were to occur in the actual world, they would resemble the wormhole from Star Trek, Deep Space Nine. The good news regarding Lorentzian wormholes is that, despite our best efforts over the past 10 years, we are still unable to demonstrate their non-existence. The bad news is that they are highly peculiar things that, if they ever exist, require a significant amount of negative mass to keep them open and prevent collapse. The Casimir effect allows us to produce modest amounts of negative energy in the lab, but it appears that we will never be able to create the huge quantities required to maintain an open Lorentzian wormhole of any size. If Lorentzian wormholes actually exist, creating time travel devices out of them would seem to be a rather simple process. This hypothesis states that even when it appears that classical physics would permit time travel, quantum phenomena will work together to block it successfully. Even weirder are Euclidean wormholes, which are fundamentally virtual quantum mechanical processes that exist in imaginary time. The primary audience for these Euclidean wormholes is particle physics, quantum field theorists. Unfortunately, we need to know a lot of quantum physics to understand even their most fundamental characteristics, thus it is impossible to interpret them in terms of a well-behaved classical gravitational field. The possibility of time travel can increase depending on technological developments in the future. So buckle up and be ready for changing that question. Meet you all in another video with more interesting information.